Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem. Harakakwadash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly called God, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the prophets, the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say Shalom. You deny the MOTB is the CH, the C hip, you're denying Yahweh Shai. All right, and, and that's simple because Yahweh Shai is prophecy. Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, and the the MOTB is the top one of the top prophecies. All right, with World War One being number one and the MOTB being one A. All right, and you got a lot of Israelite groups out there, whether it's pride, whether it's you know they don't got the spirit, or they just don't know, or you know that they feel in some type of way because GMS is telling them what it is and they're right about it. They won't they won't prophesy that the MOTB is to see him. Okay. And, you know, they, like I said, like the title of this lesson, they're denying Yahweh Shai. All right. They don't got the spirit of prophecy. All right. They don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. All right. Ultimately. All right. And, and you can see it because, you know, Yahweh Shai, he came, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is to be humble and be meek. Okay. And a lot of these guys, like, like the elders say in my camp that, you know, if you don't know, it's okay. All right. It's okay to say you don't know. All right. But. If you're a teacher, you call yourself a teacher, you need to search and seek these things out and, and make sure you're teaching the right thing because this is life and death. You're playing with, you know, people's people's lives out there. All right. And it's, it's, it's too much evidence now that 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 sh that's showing everyone where we're headed. All right. Everything is digital. Everything you know, you got this digital currency. OK. You know, no one takes cash anymore. You know, everything is turning digital from, you know, the records, uh, of course, like I said, the money, you know, everything. All right. And I just put up a few articles that are, you know, that that are in recent news that I'm pretty sure these, you know, these articles are fresh a few days ago. And these Israelite camps out here are still pushing that the MOTB is sin. And, you know, it was an embargo. It's all these things. But what we say it is, and, and it's not what we say it is, it's what the spirit you know, have revealed unto the apostles that, that we know what it is. And, you know, um, these current events, these articles, it just, it just gives us more faith and solidifies that, that what the MOTB is. All right. This is one right here. It says NFR 2023 RFID pushes retailers toward digital transformation. All right. We already see that taking place. Um, let me see. I had another one right here. Uh, Maryland tests. Digital ID cards for Android NFC smartphones. And it was another one that um, one of the elders had sent out where it, it basically spoke of um, another article of, you know, how this RFID, you know, CHC hip is, is becoming mainstream now. All right. It's not a secret. He saw, you know, their, 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 uh, uh, um, their wicked agenda, left hand agenda, the New World Order is it's being revealed. Okay. And it's only a matter of time before they enforce it. And you Israelites, you, you don't got a lot of time. Because once this thing is, is, is you know, enforced, mandated, all right, then, you, then you're faced with a decision. Okay, a lot of you Israelite groups out there, you can't, uh, uh, um, you know, by, by, by that time, it's going to be the family of the word. All right, where, where no one's going to be able to prophesy. No one's going to be out there able to upload videos. You know, you can't go tell all the people you told it was sin or it was this or it was that, that actually what it is. Because all, all all levels of communication are going to be cut off during these times, during, during you know, the hour of temptation, during uh, Jacob's trouble. All right? You ain't going to be able to call and say, you know, you know, we had it wrong, they had it right, it's this, don't take it. It's going to be too late. Okay? So let me, um, I wanted to start with this, the um, Revelations 19, you know, because I was speaking of the spirit of prophecy. All right? And, and you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, is, is a spirit of prophecy. This is... um. The book of Revelation, chapter uh, 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. We have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. 
Okay? Worship the Most High. Worship the Most High Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You guys don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. A lot of these guys, these upper leaders, whether they paid off, okay, that they're not telling their congregation actually what it is because, hey, people are people are going to really inquire about this when it, when it comes out because they're going to want to know because their whole life, your, your whole life is essentially going to be attached to that, okay? And, and, you know, and if you're telling them that it's not that, you're gonna have a lot of blood on your hands. A lot of these, lot, lot of these so-called leaders of Israel. Okay, you're playing with it's, it's life and death. It, it, you know, it ain't go, it don't get no clearer than that. Okay, and, and this being one of the major prophecies, all right, it, it's it's this is this is probably one of the easiest breakdowns. Or right, when you really read it and you you know and you you know you you have you know a little bit of the spirit, it will reveal that you know the MOTB is a C hip. All right. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes of Sirach, um, 39, and I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to jump down to the 24th verse. He says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. These guys really are not occupied in prophecy, because this is the main one of the main prophecies, and they can't get it right, Okay. They, they, they're they're telling you that like I said it's sin, all right. Which is you know the way they break it down is just like it's like what, you know like like what what the hell are you talking about, you know? And, and some people will say it's a spiritual mark, all right, which is off completely off, because if you read the seventeenth verse, it says that no man might buy or sell with this spiritual mark or with this uh, where they were saying this embargo with sin. It doesn't make any sense. This is clear as day, all right. Even even Edomites, all right, could could you know even the Christians can see that you know what this is, okay. Um, I want to jump down to uh, verse twenty four, and it reads, uh, "As his ways are plain unto the holy, all right, and the holy now represents the prophets, all right, the prophets that have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, that that are separated from this world." All right, they don't have any kind of dealings with this world where they're compromised in any type of way where it changes their doctrine, where it, you know, they're not allowed to speak on this, this, and this. But you're Israelite, and you're from the 12 tribe of Judah. So what about Revelations um, uh, uh, 13 and 16? Oh, no, we're not going to get into that. Oh, we're not teaching that today. You know, that, that's how a lot of these, 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 these leaders of these um, Israelite groups out here, that, that's how they come off. That's how they act. All right, hey, you got to be, you have to, if you're a prophet, if you call yourself a man of the Lord, you have to be willing, all right, to answer any question, all right, when you're out there, all right, as, as that pertains to prophecy, that pertains to salvation, okay? Um, let me finish this verse. So, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked, all right? And in this day, the, the MOTB is a big stumbling block unto a lot of these Israelite groups, all right? Um, let me jump over to uh, the book of Matthew chapter um, 10 and uh, verse 32. And as it reads, Whomsoever therefore shall confess me, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. All right? Hey, Yahweh Shai is going to vouch for you. All right? If you come and right and you come and correct in the doctrine, okay? He's going to confess, he said, whoever shall confess me before men. And confessing that the MOTB is the is the C hip, hey, that that that's you know, I mean, you know, proclaiming and prophesying, and that's confessing Yahweh Shai before um, before, um, uh, 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 before this world, okay? Because Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, and this is one of the main prophecies. Him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. All right, verse verse thirty three. But whomsoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven, okay, the, hey, the Lord is going to deny you, all right, all right, the, the Lord's not dealing with you, these guys, man, so a lot of you people that, you know, listen to this group, listen to this group, and, you, and you, you know, you get a little bit here, and you'd like to listen to everybody, continue to listen to them, because when that hour of temptation comes, when, when this, this, this C hip, M, the M-A-R key is mandated, and, and it's made mandatory, and your whole life, everything that you love in this wicked-ass world is attached to this that is attached to this system, 
you're going to have to uh, be attached to it or you're going to have to detach. All right. But if you're listening to these groups that, you know, speak with smooth words and want to have an Israelite party and these big, you know, big, glorious um, Passovers, hey, you're going to you're going to you want to continue uh, in the mirth of this world. All right. In the folly of this world. So what are you going to do? You all right? It, 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 you're, 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 you pretty much, a lot of these niggas out here, they're pretty much making it, they, they already pretty much made up their mind, okay? They saying, it, it ain't that, but we ain't going to take it. Come on, man. It, 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 these guys, a lot of these guys are compromised, man. We, we Brothers have been saying that for a long time. A lot of these guys, they, they got some of the spirit, but they really don't, all right? And they're compromised with their doctrine. Like, just teaching that you're an Israelite, all right, and that that that's not going to get you into the chariots. All right, just because you know, all right, but you got to know what the, about you have to know. You have to be for certain. You got to be sure about this prophecy of the MOTB. All right, this is uh, the book of uh, Matthew uh, five and ten. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and exceedingly be glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before thee. All right, so we're going to be prosecuted, we're going to be ridiculed for, for, for speaking this, for speaking this truth. And a lot of these guys, they don't want to, they don't want to deal with that. They don't want to re be reviled. They don't want to be persecuted. They don't want to be a, 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 a seen in a negative light in this world. These niggas really, some of them, you know, a lot of them, they really love this world. All right, they, 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 it's something about this world and being an Israelite that, that it, these niggas is infatuated with. All right, if you're a true follower and a believer of Yahweh Shai, you hate this world. All right, you hate, hate everything about this wicked world that we live in. You're hastening unto the, the, the day of Yahweh Shai when this place is taken out. Okay, you, you, you're not, you, you're not, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, you know, uh, 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 you don't want to stay here. You're not out there pushing confusion and hoping and praying that this ain't the end. This is the end. They're talking about this 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 C hip, the M A the M A R K in mainstream media. All right. How these niggas is man? These is you know. Hey, like I, like I said, they don't got the spirit of prophecy. They don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The Lord is really not dealing with them, man. Let, let's allow these. Let's you repent. Let's you guys. You know. And we always say it's, it's not personal. It's, it's it's all business. Unless you guys repent and begin to speak, uh, 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 um, you know the right doctrine and, and you know give the people the proper warning. It's all we ain't you know we have no dealings with you. All right, unless you start speaking and repenting and, 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 and you know then you know we can you know we can agree on some things. We ain't gonna come together, but you know we're not gonna go hard on you guys like we're going now. Okay, we want we we want to get the hell out of here. But in order to get out of here, we got to get 144,000, got to be all on the same accord, singing the same song, all right? And that, that's talking about the doctrine, all right? 144,000 not going to be saying, some people are going to be saying, oh, it's, it, 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 it's the C-hip, and others are going to be saying, oh, it's this, it's this. No, everyone got to be on one accord, all right? This is the book of Jeremiah 23 and um, verse 21. It says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned from their evil ways and from the evil, their evil doings. And a lot of these guys is not these. A lot of these guys are false prophets. They're not going to do that. But the Most High is is clear that Yahweh Bashim Shai is not dealing with these guys. All right, even if they do come in that name, all right, they 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 they're not they're not coming in the spirit. All right, because the spirit of prophecy. Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. We have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, okay, and, and and the testimony. I mean, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is that the MOTB is to see him, clear as day. It, it's, it's it's no getting around that. All right, and, and yeah, hey, I'm gonna get this. Yahweh Shai is the light, and these guys don't have the light. Um, this is Isaiah eight and uh, verse twenty, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word. Meaning this doctrine that the MOTB is the C-hip, it is because there is no light in them. These guys don't have the light. All right, Yahweh Shai represents the light, this truth. All right, this light that's this, this, that's shining bright. 
all right, throughout the four winds of the world, okay, that this light that is shining in darkness, revealing all the wickedness of this world, revealing this devil Esau, this light that is revealing you two-third niggas, this light that is revealing you false prophets, okay? Um, let's see. Um, let me just grab this Matthew 7 and um, verse, um, let's see, 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. What is the what is the will of the heavenly Father? To prophesy, okay, to, to call upon His name and His Son's name in the name of His Son, okay. And 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 part of prophesying is telling the people the right doctrine, okay. Telling the people what the MOTB is, all right. Not 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 bringing forth confusion. Okay, not not being puffed up with pride because you don't want to admit or you know say that they had it right, you know they those guys got the truth, you know that that that, that shows humility, all right. But these guys don't have that. These guys don't have the integrity, all right. They they gonna these niggas is gonna be hard headed and stubborn, okay, until the missiles come. It, it's, it's gonna be too late, all right, for them to say you know what these guys had it right and. It's too late for all of that, you know, right? It, it, the time for you, you Jake, to repent is now, all right? It, it, ain't, it ain't about us saying, oh, yeah, we had it right. Man, hey, so what? Just tell, tell your congregation the right doctrine. That's all it comes down to. We want to get the hell out of here, all right? Verse 22, many will say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works and that's what these wonderful works and that's what these guys are puffed over pride you know look at all these followers and look at all these views and i'm doing all these videos and stuff but if you're doing all these videos you're doing all this work you got all this fruit but you're teaching the wrong doctrine it don't mean shit okay you 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 got all these videos you got all these uh views and followers and you know instagram follow you on all these social media platforms but you're teaching that the MOTB is sin. You're teaching the MOTB is a spiritual mark or, or, or whatever. Anything but the C hip. It don't mean shit. Okay? And you and Yahweh Shai, okay, he, he's going he gonna to let you know. All right? Verse 23, and then will I prof profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Go say, I never knew you. I don't know you. What is your name? I'm so-and-so, you know, and I... Now I never knew you. Depart. Yeah, all right. Yeah, take this judgment with you. All right. Because Yahweh Shai ain't coming back to talk and, and, and be cool. All right. Hey, Yahweh Shai is coming back for you know for that action. All right. Because all hey, all hey all the talking is done by the prophets. All right. And all the talk all the talking is about to be be done with in a minute because the famine of the word is going to come and then it's going to come to destruction. All right. So I didn't want to make this too long. I just want you to know, push that point because these guys out here, you know, it, this is like this is the one of the main prophecies. Like I said, World War Th World, World War Three is uh, um, number one, and um, you know this MOTB is is one A. All right, so we're coming into these times, and, and, and it's coming fast. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakudash. Till next time, I say Shalom.